Okay, so uh, here is my uh, kind, of, uh, kind of roughly shaped tote. Um, it fits nicely. And um, uh, basically I just did it with a bunch of, uh, again, the Iwasaki floats. I got a rounded one, a half round, uh, the fine one, uh, just kind of basically filed all this out. Uh, you can see I've left this bottom here I've stopped here around roughly here for the curve uh, because when I actually put this in I, I don't want to have that below the surface. So now we want to get the mortise chopped uh, for this to fit in and um, you can place it kind of anywhere but there is one sort of criteria that you have to keep in mind uh, and that is with the blade in, um, hang on let's get this on the side so with the blade in, uh, you want to place your plane uh, tote so that this horn doesn't interfere with the iron kind of here. So you want to place it as far forward as you can without it interfering with your iron because otherwise you won't be able to tap this with the hammer uh, and adjust it obviously. So um, basically anywhere as long as it's kind of clear of the iron but if you place it too far back um, I think the balance will kind of suffer and it will feel weird. So try to keep it middle-ish area. Um, marking out, uh, you can see here, well, I, I placed the iron, uh, my tote, and basically I just kept moving it back and forth until I found a good spot. And I marked uh, the back end, scribed straight line across, uh, measured the length of the uh, tenon here, Scribe another line across, and then I measured the width of this, or the thickness, and basically uh, centered a mortise here by marking um, from both sides and making sure it's centered. Uh, that gave me a little, well, I don't know if you can see this, but a uh, kind of little square patch here, and that's what I'm going to drill out. Um, you can chop it out all by hand, but it's probably going to be a, a lot of work because, well, you've probably selected some relatively hard stuff for your plain body and uh, chopping this kind of size mortise is going to take a lot of work. Uh, so I'm just going to drill most of the stuff out. Um, depth, uh, make sure when you do chop or drill uh, you don't go too far below this kind of line. Uh, I would recommend keeping maybe about one millimeter, two millimeters of this top surface proud, because then later you can just kind of uh, pare that down and make it all flush. Um, another little kind of tip, I guess, is to um, make this length a little bit shorter than your actual length of your tote, because then um, obviously it's easier to shave just a couple of shavings off here than it is to chop and also it lets you angle this front edge very slightly and tap it in so it kind of wedges itself in um, but you know as long as you're careful you should be okay with this so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drill a bunch of holes with force and a bit here uh, clear out most of the waste and then pare down the walls and basically just fit this in there and once that's done I'll come back and uh, we can glue it back uh, we'll glue this in and uh, that'll be it. Okay so here is the uh, kind of finished tote mortise in the body and um, you can see I've also rounded the back of the body here. Uh, I did that just because uh, you know it's easier to get to it now. Um, I also squared up the ends here but you should clean up the ends um, because, well, it's just nice to do now when you can clamp it up without the tote getting in the way. And you can see here is my uh, mortise for my tote. And this is the kind of fit I've got. So it's, it's not overly tight, but it's, it needs a little bit of effort to get in there. And that's the kind of fit you're looking for because you obviously don't want this coming loose while you're uh, using it. Um, I've also squared up the sole roughly uh, to the sides. Um, it's not perfectly flat or perfectly true but it's uh, pretty close. I uh, did that with a plane. Um, but uh, now I'm going to glue 
the tote in to the mortise. Um, just white glue, uh, standard yellow glue in here. You don't want to be too stingy with it in here because, well, okay, that's probably way too much. Um, but uh, spread that around in there. Just get that on. I'm not going to put any on the tote because um, if you do that, when you push the tote in, it's just going to squeeze all over the place and create a bit of a mess. So I'm just going to spread it into the mortise here. A brush would obviously be better than a toothpick if you have a glue brush handy. Um, you want to make sure you get plenty of glue here, obviously. And uh, yeah, I guess there's not really much else to it. Just get some glue all over. Um, if you've got a really tight fit, when you put glue in, it's, it's going to swell and um, you might not be able to get your tote in. So that's one kind of reason to not get a super, super tight fit. Get it tight enough so that you can easily push it in and put it back out with not too much effort. Mine's actually a bit loose in places. But um, okay, so that's most of it. I'm just gonna get some kitchen towel. Tissue, okay, okay. Get a good chunk of this out. For now, and uh, tote. Also, when you put this in, obviously make sure that you get it in straight and square to the sides. in for me and it's uh, square so this is just gonna sit here glue up hopefully that's enough glue and everything to keep it tight um, I have some tiny gaps along kind of here and there and I'm just going to when this fully dries up I will uh, make some really thin wedges slices of wood hammer them in glue them and sort of pair them down later but um, at this stage, uh, you obviously just leave it dry and then next thing we'll do is to uh, pare down this kind of area here and smooth the rest of the tote out, sand it finished, uh, kind of smooth. And uh, that'll be kind of like the main body. There's still a bit of final uh, kind of touches to be done, but uh, this is the main uh, kind of thing done. So now we've got to pare this surface down here flush with the top of the plain body and round over the back here and just generally finish shaping up this. So here obviously you just kind of nothing special, just take a chisel uh, or anything you want and just uh, start chopping away this waste here. Um, just make sure you don't gouge the top of the body I guess. Um, that's a pretty simple job and for the back I'm going to use a the float again. This has safe edges uh, so I can actually ride up against the top of the plane surface without damaging it um, and that will just let me kind of, you know, shift around here. You can see how fast this actually removes the material. 
this is the finest uh, float they have and it removes it this quickly uh, but it still leaves a very nice surface if you kind of angle it right but um, yeah there's not really much point to shaping this not really much more to shaping it than just uh, keep going at it uh, kind of round it to your preferences just kind of yeah keep going until it gets nice and finished after you kind of get everything flush and rounded to your preference you just get some sandpaper and kind of buff it you know shoe shine style um, just kind of smooth everything out uh, make sure there's no sharp edges and uh, that's it